today we're doing a hillside leisure Dalbury camper van. Um, it's on the N Nissan NV200. Now, Hillside Leisure was the first British company to actually do an electric vehicle, an NVE200. This one we're looking at is a diesel one. It's just under four and a half metres long. And it's a 2018 camper van, just under 5,000 miles with full service history. So let's have a look at the outside of the camper van. We have the pop top roof. Uh, metallic paint with the alloy wheels and then around the other side and then from work away down this side what we have is just below here if you can see we have our fresh water drain off and then there is a little lever which you turn which will drain it off and then this is our wastewater and then next to that, we do have heating inside the van. This is the flue for our heating system. We've got a fresh water tank on. So this is where we fill up the fresh water. And then for putting the 230 into the van, if you just have a look around the back, just down here is where we put our 230 in. So let's have a look in the back of the van. So just before we go further on, this is on a private plate. It is a 2018, but it is on a private plate. So if we have a look at the back, we have storage underneath the rock and roll bed. As you can see, proper rock and roll bed. And then here we have our gas with a proper gas compartment done with your drop vents. And then you've got your camping gas there. I'll just switch that on. And what we'll do now, we'll go have a look inside the van. So right, let's have a look inside. If you can see, we have a rock and roll bed. We have our little controls above. We have a sink. And then we have some type of item there, which is quite impressive, which I'm going to show you in a moment. And then just below that, we have our fridge. So it's a 1.5 diesel engine, six speed with CD radio, air conditioning, and it's 2000 kilograms in weight. And it also has cruise control as well and media pack. So as you can see, the driver's seat that doesn't swivel, the passenger seat does. And then we have a little orange lever there where we can swivel the seat around. And then we have a little table now the table, let's just take that off. That lives behind the driver. And then the pole, that lives underneath the rock and roll seat. And you'll just see there. There's a clip for it for putting the pole back. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make up the bed. So we have the lever down here. If you can lift up, it pulls everything forward and that reveals a little lever. So if we lift that up, this brings the bed over. And then we have the other lever, which pulls that down. And then Just here we have another lever which we can drop down and there we go we have the bed and let's see how quick I can make it back up again and there we go back to the seating area so let's have a look at the rest of the camper van We've got storage underneath the sink and then storage here next to the fridge. And then if we move up, what we have, we have our Abispatch heating system. So the way we operate that, that's telling us it's 14 degrees inside the van. In order to operate it, if we press onto there, that'll um, operate the Abispatch heating. That operates the fan for fan only. 
um, and then we can adjust the, um, the temperature that we want either up or down and then what we have here is a control panel so that switches the panel on we've got our lights and then we have our pump so the, the pump's a pressure print pump which I'll show you a bit later on oh we've also got battery that tells us how much leisure battery we've got so I'll switch the pump on and there we go it's just a fresh water only there is no hot water um, system on that which you don't really need for these type of campers to be honest so there we go there's our fresh water now just down here we have our fridge so it's a 12 volt fridge as you can see there that's how we switch it on and then just above that we have a nice little storage area Now one thing I've found lacking this is with the gas obs. Doesn't seem to be any gas obs, or does it? Right, are you ready for the magic trick? So we bring the seat forward, we drop the back down, I'll just move these curtains which go all the way around the cab for at night and then there's a button here and if we pull that out Look what we get, hops, and I'll just come round and show you. So we can pull that along, that slots in place, and then we have our two burner hob. How good's that? So what I need to do now is to show you where the leisure battery is. And the leisure battery is underneath the bonnet. Now, in order to open up the bonnet, let me just show you in the cab what we have here. We've got the steering wheel, and then we've got uh, two little flaps here. This one opens the bonnet, and this other one here opens the diesel cap. And the diesel cap is located here, and that's where you put your diesel in. So let's go and have a look under the bonnet show you where the ledge battery is. Right, so we've got a little flap there. If you can just see that, that opens it up. And then what we've got here is our leisure battery. And below that, we also have our vehicle battery. So I think all I need to show you now um, where the, basically the, the water pump is and some fuses so the good thing with having a slide out here we can get at all the components of the van so if we have a look this is the back of our fridge we have our fuses 12 volt fuses we also have our let's just open that up for you there we go we have our 230 fuses see if I press that it doesn't trip that's because we haven't got 230 plugged into the van and then we have our water pump, which is a pressure pump, and our water filter. Right, so one important thing to do with your camper van or even your motorhome is to drain down. So what we can do here, we can go to our fresh water. If we turn the lever, that'll drain out all the fresh water. And then there's our waste as well. So as you can see now, the fresh water's more or less drained down and we'll just wait for the last little bits to drain out. Just because you've drained your fresh water tank down, we have got, as which I did show you on the other side, we have got a pressure pump. So there is going to be a bit of water in the pressure pump and probably in the tap. So we've got our pump on. As you can see, there's still water sitting in the pipes. So what we're going to do now is just drain all the pipes and the pump dry. It is a sure flow pump and they can actually run dry. You can see it's still just bringing bits of water through. And there we go. We've drained the water out. I'll just switch the pump off. So we've got our pop top, what we've got here 
is our little canvas windows, which I'll just zip up. And then we bring the pop top down, just making sure the canvas is inside. And then what we've got, pull that tight and then we've tightened it up. Obviously when we are opening the, the pop top up again, we just undo that. And then we can lift this back up again. So the hillside camper, micro camper, um, we haven't found any marks on this. It's um, brilliant condition. Um, it's ideal as a dual purpose for you could use it for work and also going on your camping trips. A good size um, with the rock and roll bed as well. And the feature I really, really like is this little section here where we can move it along and it makes into the, the two burner hobs. But we've got everything we need. We've got our heating as well on the Haberspatch heating. We've got some fresh water and then we've got the swivel seat as well with the table that we can put in. So a great little micro camper.